I've traveled all over the U.S. and we're always the best art is always in like the heart of the city, right? Where somebody would say, oh, this is a problem area, but you don't look at the problem area, you're looking at this beautiful art. My name is Chris Garcia. I draw, paint, do tattoos. And I grew up on 18th Street in college, running around there all, all hours of the night as a kid. And I started really picking up on graffiti and graffiti art and falling in love with trains and seeing trains. There was no rules, there was no boundaries. It was just something inside of me that just kept creating and creating and it's where it took off and it's never stopped. First summer I started painting, I was, uh, I got locked up at the age of 12 years old. Sixth grade was the first time arrested. I was in and out of jail. Throughout my childhood as a teenager, um, about 17 years old, I had a daughter. She uh, changed my life and switched everything completely. Everything I went through put me to where I am today, to be who I am. So it's, it's good to be able to kind of reflect on, on my life, but also look like I'm a product of the environment that I came from. So I just love giving back to my city, love giving back to the community. When we were talking about where should we put this mirror, where should it go, it was square, right? Right at Sammy's. I was actually arrested in Sam, Sammy's parking lot. 16 years old, I was being young and dumb, got arrested in the parking lot. It was a graffiti tagged wall that would, you know, bared everything from gang signs to hate words to anti-police graffiti on there. I met a couple kids who, sadly to say, had never even seen Big Red, had never even been to the beach, they were born and raised here, you know, 10, 11, 12 years old. And I'm like, man, let's bring some of that lakeshore right here into town. We got a huge team from the City Surf Project. There was parents, young, old, teens, adults, young adults. And once they started painting, it was, it was, they were like, toss me another can. They're up on ladder. Give me a can. So we're throwing up cans left and right. I'm directing. I'm like, here you go, here you go, here you go. And before we knew it, this whole wall was covered in colors. Yeah, so Chris, when I think about last year, you know, we were out here and uh, we were creating this mural, which was so fun, but, but while we were doing that, there were hundreds of other people. They're all over the city, blessing people, encouraging, cleaning stuff up. The love is contagious and the love rubs off. And that's the thing with, with this city service, just giving back and giving people hope. Every person in our city, no matter what, what their street number is, they reflect the image of God. So for us to come out here, you know, and just love the city, love the community. It's really respecting and honoring the image of God. Coming from that area and being able to give back to that area is, is, is huge because I see other kids in the community. There's a lot of little kids that need some attention to take their, their energy and put it into something positive. As we're ramping up for this year's City Serve, it's, it's back to this vision of what does it mean to see our city flourish? What does it mean to see individual people who matter to God and who bear the image of God live into their purpose and their potential. Man, if we can help that happen in this next year's City Serve, it's going to be, be huge. It's going to be a good year.